Hi there, church. We are at the midway point of Advent. This Sunday, the third Sunday in Advent, is uh, sometimes in, in other traditions besides Presbyterianism called Gaudete Sunday. Uh, Gaudete meaning rejoice. And it's a Sunday when we try to brighten the mood just a bit because the truth is that Advent gets us into our longing, our yearning, um, a lot of our disappointment over how life in the world can be. The, uh, the sense that we need a Savior to come to us and come to us soon. I've been walking in uh, at Sunny Brook this morning with Strider, and it's my first time here since we had the big storm last week. My goodness, it looks like the Incredible Hulk got angry and walked through the place and just decimated it. There are trees down that we had to walk over all kinds of trees on the path. The trees, trees kind of twisted like uh, you know like like their their tendons are just just hanging open. Um, these these poor branches that got torn off. And so Advent is, in some ways, the season of sighing. Have you caught yourself doing this lately you know, with all that's going on in the life of the world and maybe stuff going on close to your life, just <sighs> sighing? And that is the sort of longing that is particular to Advent, where we hope and pray and just rest our lives in the confidence that a Savior is coming to us to set things to right. So some of the ways that we embrace this is really to keep praying and keep practicing presence as we have for the first two weeks of Advent. And this week, I invite you to practice purpose, to ask as we will when we listen to the text that Jesus took to start his ministry, a text from Isaiah 61, how is it that with God and, and certainly with, with Jesus, how are we called to bind up the brokenhearted? to shed light to those who sit in darkness, uh, to, to give liberation to people who are captive to, to whatever it may be. If that is where you are, I pray that you will stand open to something good that God will give you, and also in your sense of need, that you will reach out to others who are in need. There's some ways to do that with this e-newsletter. You can give to the virtual giving tree that the deacons are leading. Uh, just click on the link below. You can also give to the deacons themselves for their Christmas offering. The deacons really do come close to the brokenhearted, to people who are captive to poverty and, and situations, you know, local, local neighbors who have struggles. They come alongside them and help them in all kinds of ways all through the year. And a lot of the funding that they receive comes from gifts made at Christmas time. We're going to Christmas Carol. I encourage you to do that. If you think you can sing, if you think you can't sing, it really doesn't matter. Make a joyful noise to the Lord by Christmas caroling. This Sunday, we're gonna meet at 3.30 at the church and then go out in a few groups to visit some of our, our folks that have been maybe a little bit more homebound lately, uh, those who have suffered some losses. And uh, we'll, we'll stop at their doors with social distance and everything with masks. We'll have our safety protocols in place. We'll sing and we'll also sing by phone to some of our residents who are in assisted living facilities. Also on this Sunday, the 13th, as well as uh, next Sunday, the, the 20th, from 3.30 to 4.30, we're going to give out, that's Strider's walking here, sorry for the, the 360 display. <laughs> we're gonna give out some uh, candlelight kits that will help us to have a, an intimate and meaningful experience of the digital Christmas service that has been in production this week. We've been recording and we'll be getting that ready. Uh, we, we look forward to sharing that by December 23rd on YouTube. Uh, we'll, we'll make it available on Facebook and with this e-update we'll send it that way as well. So you and people that you would send the service to uh, can have a, a Christmas experience at home uh, worship, worshiping God with, with CPC. So this candlelight kit that you can pick up at 3.30 this Sunday will have some instructions, some suggestions uh, on how to have a meaningful experience with the digital service. It'll contain some goodies, uh, some hot cocoa, and, uh, and some candles, and uh, there will be crafts available for, for pickup for kids. If you haven't gotten a to-go box for the season of Advent, those will be available as well. So 
Uh, you can see here at Sunnybrook, there are some <laughs> pretty big machines, and that's because for the past few weeks, there has been stream restoration going on. This encourages me. You know, it just disheartens me to see uh, how many trees have have been lost? You know, great big living trees that have been uh, a beautiful expression of God's creation here at Sunnybrook. Well, in the midst of the loss, there is restoration going on. That is the good news of Advent. We do experience loss, but in the midst of the loss, God and the people God joins to his mission are about restoration. So how are you going to be about the restoration of the earth? How are you going to share in what the world will be like when Jesus comes and everything is made new? We don't have to wait for that great day for the newness to begin, both in our lives and in the lives that we would touch because we want to be part of Jesus' kingdom. So, Let's keep on loving God, sharing relationships, serving others from the heart of Christ. Thanks be to God.